All right, joining us now, someone who has played his share of All-Star Games mm -hmm. 10. Longtime Cub and Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. So what is it like as a former All-Star to watch these games? Well, I just remember how it was when I, when I was there, and I remember the, uh, the buildup and the hype and just uh, the atmosphere leading up to the game. But uh, uh, I also remembered uh, hooking up with the, uh, the Mike Schmitz and the Ozzie Smiths and the Gary Carters and, and forming a team for that one game. It was a special game, and uh, I created a lot of uh, friendships uh, through that game. So I enjoy watching those games. Now you got to be in awe when you when you some of the names you just mentioned. I mean, even as a as a player, as a fellow player, you've got to be in awe of guys like that. You know, Carter and some of the other ones you you mentioned when you're all together playing. Uh, in awe a little bit, especially early on in my career. Uh, my first uh, All Star game was in 1984 in mm -hmm. San Francisco, and. Uh, to be on the same team with Pete Rose and Steve Carlton and uh, and Nolan Ryan, I mean, oh. just to name some more. I mean, it just goes on and on. And uh, really, that's what the All Star Games are about. And and these players that play in these All Star Games, uh, a number of them will be uh, will be Hall of Famers someday. Mm -hmm. So that's the caliber of uh, talent in that game. Ryan, as far as this current season goes, it's it's a pretty tough race right now in the NL Central between the. Brewers, Cardinals, and Pirates, and I know as a Cubs guy, generally Cubs people do not like Cardinals people, but who do you think um, has the edge this year? Well, I think I think you hit it on the on the nose. I think it's I think it's somewhat up for grabs in the second half. Um, uh, you got to like what the Brewers have done with their pitching staff over the off season, and I don't even know if they pitched as well as they could in the first in the in the first half. So. Uh, them, the Cincinnati, and the Cardinals. Uh, whoever can get hot and and uh, and create the momentum in the second half, it's 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 up for grabs for those three teams, I believe. And very much surprising what the what the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates have done. But uh, you know, I've been, I'm very excited about being involved with uh, with Pepsi Max, uh, Field of Dreams team. The fans have a chance to uh, to vote and create a team that that they can actually play a, a softball game next spring in and uh, the fans can go to uh, mlb.com slash pepsi max and vote for their favorite uh, living legends that uh, will form a team and i'm excited to be on that ballot so it's an up and coming thing and it should be a lot of fun great ryan it's great to talk to an all-star i've never done that before until now good to see you i appreciate it thank you right, thank have you. a good morning